Durham Regional Police doing some tests on some new equipment that could save the lives of some of their most beloved officers. We're talking about the canine unit and it's canine Kevlar. Andre Brown with more on this. In this training session, PSD Riot is being repeatedly stabbed by a suspect, but a new anti puncture vest is protecting him from serious injury. That really caught our eye as um, an option that can be used to protect the dogs during their entire shift and not just more of a planned deployment where a bigger vest could be used. On the inside, we opened it up. This is where we can put in the, uh, the armor. Now, this is a Spike 3, so it's specifically designed for edge weapons. Like I mentioned, knives, box cutters, needles, things like that. These vests cover the back chest and a portion of the neck of the dogs. And that's very important because of how close these dogs get to potentially dangerous suspects, ultimately ending up within an arm's range. Go for Ryan. Hold that guy. Usually, a dog's deployed. We're tracking. The, uh, I would say that the hardest hardened of criminals, uh, guys that want to escape, guys that are trying to run from the police, uh, and people that would be very desperate to try and get away, and they'll do anything to a dog to try and escape. And that's exactly what happened to Quanto, a police service dog out of Edmonton who was stabbed to death while attempting to take down a suspect. And, uh, it turned out he had a knife. Uh, there's been numerous dogs in the States that have been killed or lured into traps because uh, the dog is using their nose and tracking that scent to try and find the guy. And, uh, if there's no chance for them, if the guy just springs from surprise and uses the knife, um, at least oh, using guy. something like this, it'll give them a chance. In most cases, canine unit dogs wear only a collar and harness. <laughs> Many departments do have ballistics vests for their dogs, but they are generally too heavy to wear at all times. These new vests being tested by Durham Region are made in Alberta. They cost about $800 and weigh just about five pounds, allowing the dogs to maintain their agility. So it's a little bit of peace of mind, because really, up until this point, um, the dogs haven't been protected at all. Uh, we try and avoid sending them into situations where they're going to get hurt, but sometimes it just happens and we have no control over that. So at least this gives us a little bit of peace of mind. Well, Durham police will continue to test these vests throughout the summer. The hope of officers is that they will be put into action permanently next year. In Durham Region, Audra Brown, City News.